Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us all here for the today's web-based presentation, uh, iSCSI Storage in 2010, brought to you by Starwind Software. My name is Bob Boulay. Uh, I'm one of the senior solution engineers here with Starwind Software, and I'll be taking you through uh, today's presentation. Uh, as you can see from our agenda slide, uh, we'll be doing the presentation in two parts. Uh, I've got some PowerPoints that I want to cover. Uh, uh, among the topics, obviously, are going to be covering, uh, you know, sort of what the traditional SAN technology looks like, uh, utilizing technologies like Fiber Channel, uh, comparing that to iSCSI. Uh, a conversation around SAN versus direct attached storage, helping you understand the benefits of SAN technology, why consider a SAN uh, outside of just enabling some cool features. Uh, why iSCSI? So assuming that you've made the decision to move towards SAN, why would you consider, uh, you know, an iSCSI type of solution and some of the benefits around iSCSI? And that'll be a reoccurring theme throughout the course of the presentation. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at iSCSI and, and a hypervisor, um, you know, take a, a sort of real tight look at, in this case, I've chosen um, a Hyper-V uh, as an example. Uh, and we're going to really take a look at what something like this would look like in production from a, you know, a Visio diagram perspective, along with uh, storage high availability in MPIO, which is something that uh, has rolled out of Starwind uh, in the past six months uh, to really provide customers with that sort of real sort of five nines of availability when it comes to not only just the application layer, but also the storage. The second half of the program is actually going to actually involve a live demo. So I'm going to walk you through, uh, you know, sort of putting some of this theory into practice and what this actually looks like in an actual production environment. Uh, we'll look at, you know, sort of what's needed, um, how to go about setting it up, uh, the configuration of your hardware and your operating system, uh, and then choosing the right storage device or the right virtual storage device. As you'll see here, we've got a number of different options, and I'm going to talk you through what each one of them, the benefits of each, each particular storage device and where it might be appropriate. Uh, and then we'll do a review of clustered storage, uh, Starwin HA. Where we'll walk through, you know, how to go about setting up that active, active, highly available storage cluster. So, with that said, uh, I want to go ahead and jump right into the the uh, the meat of the presentation, uh, and start off by reviewing sort of something that I think that uh, you know we're all familiar with, sort of what the typical fiber, traditional fiber channel SAN looks like. Now, fiber channel is obviously a technology that has been around for a while, um, you know. Very, very, uh, you know, performance driven, really giving you a rock solid foundation when you do decide to move to SAN. I think that, um, as you can see here, what we're talking about is the, the separation of the application layer from the storage layer. So, you know, and this is something that we're going to discuss in just a couple more slides, but really the idea of separating those two out of managing storage as a separate entity, ultimately making the decision on what you're going to use for a backbone in order to do that. Uh, in this case here, you know, as you can see, the fiber channel HBAs, uh, a fiber channel switch, and then obviously your fiber channel storage cluster down at the bottom. Now, obviously, for those of you that have used solutions like this or worked in, uh, you know, environments where solutions like this have been implemented, you all know that they're, it's very robust, uh, you know, very performance driven, and really provides you with a solid backbone uh, on which to go ahead and, and place that, that sort of storage layer. Now, the drawback with this, obviously, is that there's a lot of proprietary technologies that are associated with this. So we're talking about fiber channel HBA cards in each one of your application servers. We're talking about fiber channel switching technologies, fiber channel cabling, and then obviously the, the fiber channel sand boxes that you're going to purchase from the vendor that you choose to go with. Um, obviously, this is, this is a great option for a lot of folks, but you know, for a lot of us, we're simply priced out of that. And, you know, it's, it's simply too expensive, and we wind up making some sacrifices uh, in utilizing things like direct attached storage, or maybe we go all the way to the other end of the spectrum and, and, and sort of go the NAS route, uh, where there's an option that's available to us sort of right in the middle there that's going to be cost effective, and if, if built out correctly, uh, is going to provide us with the performance that we're looking for. And that's the iSCSI SAN. Now, the nice part about this, obviously, is that um, when you start talking about iSCSI technologies, you're talking about commodity hardware that's being used to put something like this together. So we're not talking about anything proprietary here, sort of off-the-shelf stuff you've probably already got in your shop to go ahead and build something like this out. As you can see here, we're talking about, you know,